she's on bed rest until she delivers. She's, oh. I think, three days away. Right. So, uh, Dr. John. Yes. Yeah. And she's going from Friday. So, oh. so you're going to do it. So I'm doing that. Um, so as far as roll call, um, Angel Matthews is excused. Uh, Kim St. Clair has resigned. And Bob Meehan is, uh, is excused. They have the Florida District Warrants for District Community. Um, uh, Emily has a call and may or may not make it. She's going to try to make it again. If she doesn't make it, then we'll have to put off the review of um, the school board expenditure until the next quarter of the meeting. And you won't be doing storm water either, clearly. Clearly. So not here. That's okay. right. Okay. And, and also, they don't have, didn't have a uh, report yet. So it will be just, just the town. Um, we have a number of things on the agenda um, to go through. First uh, is the review and approval of the meeting minutes from our last meeting, and those were circulated. Um, they had some red line markups on them. That was Those were my markups. Um, Brianna sent them to me. I added some notes to make them a little more clear, and then she forwarded them uh, to the group. And so if there are any questions or comments uh, on those that we can address now, that would be good. I will be accepting these. I read them. I had no problem. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are accepted. The um, was a question uh, about a disclaimer on the email that Brianna sent around. Um, it's a standard disclaimer. It's on my emails. It's on most companies. Um, probably shouldn't have been on that one because it was going. It's a, it's a public email, so um, I asked her not to put it on for the future. So um, the next item is that we have. Uh, as I mentioned, Tim St. Hilaire has resigned, so now we have another vacancy. Um, we have, uh, I would suggest that we follow a similar process that we did before, but just want to get the sense of the group. Suzanne? Well, I wonder if, because we've just done a round, I wonder if it makes sense to wait for the October meeting. That gives us another several months for people's summer plans to, you know, to not be uppermost in their minds. So maybe if we make a, a call at the beginning of September and then interview with the October meeting, just a suggestion. I don't have a... They're going to miss the second half report, uh, second quarter review, though. Yes. Um, I would say let's put it out and see what see if we get it. Um, because know. even if you do it in, let's say, October, that person would just be on the board until the following election. So it's only going to be about a couple of months after that then. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever yeah. is appointed is only yeah. through March. March. Yeah. Yeah. It is a somewhat intensive period. Yeah. 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 Well, that's when the new budgets start. It might be nice to try to have someone before that just because they're going to learn a little bit about the process um, and, and heads, uh, department heads and stuff like that. So, I mean, I think we should at least try to put it out and maybe be clear that it's only until um, March election. Sure. Um, so then they know that they only have a certain period of time. Um, so that's my suggestion, is to make it easy to try and do that. Any other thoughts? Or? I think we should put it out now because we've got a lot of new members, and the more we get in to start it, they can hear the process. Right. Especially if they go to training. Well, because the training, training yeah. just got approved too, so yeah. So it, it would be nice if. That's a good point. Yep. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Was there an announcement? Did I miss something? No, they, we, we t at the last meeting, um, we We're talked just about. To today. Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But we talked about having it because there's so many new members and other other new people and other committees that might want to be interested in going. It's the Municipal Association mm -hmm. one. And um, so the board of selectmen voted um, Monday night to go forward with it. Yeah. So can we say it's the general consensus of the committee that we put something out now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm 
move we put something out now on that motion. I'll second it. To uh, try to get uh, a replacement as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, motion by Charlie. Second by Paul. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, the next item I had plowing through here is the is the meeting schedule. It hasn't changed since uh, a few meetings ago that we looked at it from 19 and 2020, but um, I just wanted to double check. And I, Bob Meehan looked at it to see if there were some dates that were conflicting with water and sewer. He thought he could meet all the meeting, meetings that we had listed going forward. He sent me an email. Um, so that's not a not a conflict that I know of, but does anybody else have any concerns or I'm just concerned that that a meeting like the sewer and water is happening on the same time. I mean it, that shouldn't have happened. Um, so if you're saying that he's saying they're not gonna have any more conflicts, then I'm okay with leaving what it is. But if we posted ours way in advance. So I because they're they're a voting member of this committee as well. And, and so they need to be they need to be here. Um, either one or the other needs to be here. So that was the all I can say is this he sent me an email he thought he could he could meet the well schedule. if he can then the and he said he has he now has the schedule. Good. So okay. I think that's and the sub four is okay with uh, with the schedule? Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Yep. So I just wanted to to be able to say uh, whether the budget committee itself is okay with the schedule. Um, should we have a motion to accept it as it is? Sure, I'll make that motion. To accept the schedule as prepared. I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, before Suzanne was a secret person. Um, CIP is capital improvement plan, um, which is um, the, the responsibilities is to meet with um, all department heads to find out what their um, goals are for five to ten years out. Um, so we can start planning um, for big items, to start planning for purchases of big items. Um, the commitment is probably um, four or five meetings, maybe. I am not the CIP rep this, this year. Um, it will be with Miles uh, England, um, who's taken on CIP at, from the Board of uh, Selectmen. Um, but it's really just reviewing with the, with the department heads um, of what they have on there now, making sure that the uh, priority is still what it was when they presented it originally, because they, they can like escalate something up higher if, it, if the need is um, more urgent. Um, so, um, so for example, if the fire department had a truck that they were putting money aside to buy in the future, and the truck they had completely died, and they needed to do something sooner, that might be a reason why you might change the, something like that. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Or, or you know, or the roof just yeah. came off. They could, put the, you know, they could make the roof a priority and right. utilize the money that's in the CIP for another project and reallocate it towards that. But it's really talking about um, um, long term. What, what was the years? How many years was it, Suzanne? Uh, it's a 10 year plan. The 10 year plan, but how many? Uh, so is how long have we been doing it? No, no, no. Um, how many years are they looking at 
for our therapy. So it would be 10 years, right? It would be 10, 10, 10 years. years. Yeah, yeah. it's a 10, 10 year plan. And we even have collected in the past some items that go beyond it just so that we don't lose track of it. Yeah. You know, we may put it in notes or something. Mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's, it's talking about some um, um, big ticket items that so you can start carrying a little bit each year in there. Um, actually, I will send to you all the, the most updated one that I have so you can take a look at it. But um, it's, it's not a huge commitment, but it's on top of doing budget at the same time. So it is going to have a, some meetings that are, you know, you might be a little busy for a couple months. Well, I've had a lot of experience. I wouldn't mind serving unless there are other folks who would yes. have yes. a certain <laughs> desire. Uh, no, Is there anybody who's going No, I'm okay with it. I nominate Suzanne for uh, CIP. Is mm -hmm. I'll second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And the, for the new people, though, if you want to come to a meeting, you can certainly sit there and listen, especially learning from, from, the, from the budget process. You know, um, you're more than welcome to attend. But it would be the only the members that can vote. So, thank you, Suzanne. All right. The next item is on the guidelines, um, and I think that uh, Vern circulated the guidelines to everybody in the group that were used in the, that were used in the past. Um, uh, the guidelines that I have seen so far, they were sent to me by a, by an email uh, last year when I joined, and they're not, they're red line version, so it wasn't anything finalized, and it wasn't signed, so I'm not really sure where the, if there were some that were adopt, adopted for a given year, I'm not sure what year that was or where that is, but there is a, a, a copy of guidelines, also file named bylaws, that's been circulated. Um, the uh, point that has been made in the past, and I think it makes sense, is that one budget committee can't really dictate what the next budget committee does, so you would have to adopt guidelines like that every year. So it's not something that we can, uh, we wouldn't just have be, be uh, uh, required to follow them. Uh, every budget committee makes their own decision. Um, I, I reviewed them, and actually they were, they were kind of confusing to me last year when I was getting up to speed. Um, and I think that if we were going to have guidelines, uh, I think they would need to be revised. They should be revised to be a little more uh, practical and consistent with uh, what the authority of the budget committee is, as well as um, it's not necessarily going to be redundant with guidance that's already out there. Um, so if anybody's not aware, there is guidance by the New Hampshire Municipal Association that is pretty clear and helpful. I think they take the RSA and make it a little more, more readable. Um, uh, so there is, I don't think there's a need to redo what's already done, but there might be things like, here's where we store um, our, our draft minutes and our final minutes, and here's, you know, some, some of this practical get started type of thing, like a, like a reference sheet might be a, a helpful thing. But I'm opening up before to, to thoughts and, uh, and, and maybe uh, someone who wants to volunteer. And if, if we decide we need to do, first of all, do we need to go forward and prepare uh, uh, guidelines given that there is guidance out there? Um, and if we feel that there is a need for, for guidelines, then uh, let's talk about how we move forward from here in the campaign. Suzanne? Well, um, I mean, I think that, you know, we follow the RSAs. That's our responsibility. The responsibility of budget committee members laid out in the RSAs. That tells us what we can do, and in some cases what we can't do. And, and then, as you've already stated, John, the, the uh, basic law of municipal budgeting, whatever it's called, that the Municipal Association has put out, just kind of fleshes all that out very nicely and you know, some case laws and other kinds of things for us to keep in mind. So I think that the, those guidelines are redundant at best. Uh, they're, they go beyond their necessary authority because, in, in truth, I mean, they say how to conduct a meeting, and really the chair of the budget committee 
if you'd like to be as he or her chooses, as long as minutes are taken and votes are recorded and that sort of thing. So there's no RSA that tells you how a meeting has to, I don't have to follow Robert's rules in other words. I know the board has a modified way of managing all of that. And, and in some cases, I think it's, it's just plain wrong, like the, like the stuff in capital expenditures, which the budget committee has no authority to tell the governing entities what is a capital expenditure, what is not. So I, I am very much in favor of like a weekly file or a quick reference, whatever we call it, that just, so for new members, they, it's one place to, to show them the resources, of, you know, like the RSAs, if they want to read them, like the you know, Sports Association budgeting, make sure that they're sworn in, you know, some of the things that, that might be uh, particularly important to a local member. Where you can find videos on training. Yeah, so I favor something like that. I, I'm not in favor, because we'll go down a rabbit hole if we start looking at those that particular set of guidelines in my mind, because there's a lot there that just, just, just doesn't work, it's not applicable. And after reviewing them again, I was, I was at the same same opinion, but, um, but I think there could be some things that would be helpful for new members to, to point, point you in the right direction. To get you the location so you can find what state law is, yeah. and yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I found the RSAs okay, but, but then um, I think I didn't have the NHMA uh, guidance, or, and we did training, that was helpful too. But, mm -hmm. but, uh, and we've got the power, you know, you would send over the PowerPoints or something of that training, so that's all up there now too, mm -hmm. and I guess we're going to have a new, new training session, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so, um, so do we have, do you want to have a, a motion to, to develop something that's an alternative guidelines, or do you, do, how do you want to, how do you suggest we move forward with that? I say casually. Casually. Yeah, I was going to say maybe treat it as something that if there's an issue that comes up, use that particular point as a, as a notion to go back and resolve it. If we're, you know, if we're having a conflict with how something should be done, we can almost break that item off, go back, look at it, and, and resolve, well, this is how we should be. So instead of trying to cover everything, just deal with the exceptions that pop up. So at, at this point, um, uh, do we want to discuss it more? Do we want to move forward with something? I, I think what we need to say is we're going to table it until further, until uh, another time. Uh, maybe uh, revise our expectations for it and, and table discussion on it at the moment. Does anybody have a different? Yeah, we're going to follow the the RSAs and, and yeah. Yeah, uh, I think after our training session, we probably will be in a better position to know what we need and what we don't need as freshman members. Mm -hmm. I don't know about everybody else. Mm -hmm. I haven't got a clue as to what to contribute to. Yeah. Uh, you would have read them all before this meeting, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> certainly did it. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, then, why don't you Why don't you take the responsibility on it? Make everyone happy, a little table. Uh, I want to work on budget stuff. I don't want to work on that stuff. <laughs> Good. So, at this point, we're not accepting them this year until we are further down and I do think training would be certainly helpful uh, for new members. Yep. We can reconsider after the training, that's what mm -hmm. we're saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. Um, next time is the training. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't read the agenda. No, well, no, well, I just sent it out, so it's not your uh, it's my fault. Um, and I, I, I think the select board just met. You want to? Yeah, talk we about we that? approved it. We think it's a really good idea that because we have so many new members um, to put it out there. Hopefully, you all will come. And it was a great. I took the training the last time, and it, it, and I've been on the budget committee for years, and I learned things that. So um, they did a really really good job. Um, uh, it's more of the questions and the answers. It brings up more topics than just looking at a. Um, a slideshow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and they were very, uh, and if they didn't have an answer, they got back to us with an answer. So I, I encourage you all to go. And we're going to offer it up to other department heads, like people who do budgets for us. You have fire, police, highway. Um, we're hoping that they'll come. Uh, maybe um, stormwater, because they're coming in with a big budget. They're going to be coming in with a budget. Um, so we're going to offer to that. So we've approved the funding for this. Um, 
So we just did you did you have a date? Did you get yeah. a date? Oh, good. That's my good. So okay. so Caroline said uh, put out there as a tentative date is the June twelfth um, at six thirty p.m. I think that's a, a Wednesday. A Wednesday. Uh, and just to see if that how that fits people. If that's if there are. Not everybody can always meet every every go to every meeting, but if there are a lot of people who can't make that one, we can maybe. That's the training session. That's yes. the training session. And would be here. Probably out of town, but I have. You probably have some training behind you already. And she'll have good questions. That's right. You were there. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to attend, but I, I'm not out of town, so. And so am I. I have a son. My son's wedding out of state, starting that weekend. The tool, the but then again, I, I watched the videos and I did, and the PowerPoint has has a lot of verbiage in it as well as her notes, so that's not a bad backup. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I, I agree, missing the questions and answers mm -hmm. is important, but um, anyway, so that dates them. Well, that, that doesn't was matter. the date that Municipal Association could make it, right? I think they have several, I think there were several uh, Wednesdays in June that they could have okay, done it. So. Um, I got the email right before coming, so. Okay. Um, but that one was put forward just as a place to start. So, um, other than than Joe and Suzanne, are there other people who can't make that date? No I don't see any sure now. Sometimes they got last minute travel, but yeah. So do we want to maybe get a, a couple more dates and send it out through email to see? Um, see if we get everybody. I don't know what and it might be another person might be on too coming. And the by department then. has might, might also. And the department has so. Um, Would the training session be video? Meaning oh, it's be a live person. Yeah, well, what you mean is someone here going to video? I'm just saying, oh, it would be hypothetically, whole. if someone couldn't make it, would there be something to review there? I don't after? know. That the answer is it going to be video? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. 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 The last one was. So you can yeah, have the video awesome. and you can have the slide deck as well, yeah. so you could listen. If you couldn't see the slides as well through the video, you could. But it's the lighting in here. Um, she is very informative, though. I'm sorry? She is very informative. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So right now, the, the that seems like a decent date. A couple of people can't make it, but we'll check back with other department heads. And then yeah. And finalize yeah. by email. Okay. The, is the cost per person or just what no. it costs for her? For so does it, I know you talked about department heads. Does, is there enough space to say, hey, we'll take five residents as somebody to come? It might be somebody who's thinking about maybe getting involved. But, you know, I, I just view the more the people understand the process and what things go through, the better educated it is. So the, my question is, do we want to open it up X number of slots? So if somebody is interested in listening, they can, they can come for the session. So, yeah. It's a great idea, and actually we did that the last time, and we didn't limit it. We did ask people to register just so that yeah. Yeah. we weren't expecting to be overwhelmed, yeah. but, you know, it's a small room, mm -hmm. and so that's all we asked. And then I think at the session itself, we said that the, the training was for, you know, blah, 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 blah. They were yeah. welcome to sit and listen. listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but we didn't want to even limit it to slots. We just asked them to please okay. call in and register. Yeah, yeah. But it's a great, it's a great yeah, idea for yeah, exactly yeah. that reason. Yeah. People could be interested. They want to know more. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. And we could certainly put out something to the email system and, and on the website. So you, um, will you follow up with Caroline? I will follow up and see if there's um, art. Uh, like the next Wednesday or something the is last that Wednesday. available? I'm sorry. The last Wednesday in June. Okay, so you're on for a couple of. Well, okay. I have, mm. okay, let me. Yeah, I mean, for me in June, that was the only Wednesday. The only I Wednesday. Just can't do anything no, about. that's okay. Yeah. Um, the other question is just make sure we don't have water storage. Pardon. The 26th. Yeah. Oh, I own water and storage. Yeah. 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 Do you mean them having a meeting? Right. Yeah. yeah. They've got a meeting. Okay. okay. Meetings, I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. Supposed yeah. To be on Thursdays, aren't they? Well, I thought they were. Now they've moved them to Wednesdays, right? I thought they always had their meetings on Thursday. It's posted as Thursday. Hmm. I may not be able to make the 12th. I may be out of town. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But um, I'll just ask for you to see if there's any other days in June. Um, 
and I'll, I'll send you guys uh, an email. Yeah, it might be at a wedding. Oh, nice. Well, you got your invite. Good. <laughs> <laughs> We should be around 25% because it's the first quarter, so we're in good shape there. First um, question, what is the time period on this? Is it the end of March, the 1st of April? I couldn't find a date on this. The only date I found was 1-12-19 on the bottom. It was, I don't, I don't know the exact date. All I know is whatever she had. It's in yes, the it says quarter one. It's, yeah, it's quarter, quarter one, so it's not going to have April stuff. Okay. Okay. It's, it's March. March. Yeah. Yeah. March 31. The, the um, question that I had is sometimes things aren't closed for the quarter, but there are things outstanding, and I assume, mm -hmm. and it's always going to be that way. This, mm -hmm. is, this is the best snapshot that we have. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, um, the... Um, The one, of the, one of the things that you're going to see throughout is um, postage. Because the postage went up, they went out and bought the forever stamps, a good chunk of them before the postage went up. So you're going to see them a little higher, like in this case, it's 37%. Uh, it was because we, we bought a whole bunch of stamps to have, instead of having to pay the increased price. So That makes sense. Yeah, and you'll, you'll see it in a couple other places as well. But um, we're still in the 14%, um, so that's really good. So um, elections and registrations, um, there's only one election this year. So um, these numbers are pretty much firm numbers. Um, we, I think some of the stuff was maybe, um, because this was our first time in SB2, and the ballot, we were a little concerned. We thought we had to maybe print more ballots or bigger ballots, again, a long, uh, more pages and stuff. So some of it may have been a little over, like the line 31 programming and printing of ballots. Um, we only did a 54% spend on that. Um, but I think it was just because of the uncertainty. Um, so, but that, that should be, um, that should be complete now because there is only one election. So we're at 30%, is that right? Um, Right. Yes. And so that, that would suggest that, that we over budgeted significantly. Yes. And so that's something we can consider. Every year is different because you have different number of elections. Correct. But, but that's something we might consider for the next. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, and you'll see where the board will be bringing it down as well. And like I say, it was it's really because of our first time being on SB2 um, as a town. Um, so, yeah, some of that is definitely going to be reduced, or maybe it oh, won't no. be reduced because you're going to have the, next year's the three year call it a trifecta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got primaries. And yeah, so it's actually going to increase. Yeah, so. but the, per, but the, per election, the per election cost might be different if you're looking at it, right? If you, per, per, per ballot, per election cost may be lower, but we have more elections, and therefore it overall will be higher. Correct. Yes. But our unit cost, we can right. adjust. Yes. Yeah. On if this is for one, it's not, definitely not going to be this for one three times, three times right. next year. Correct. Yeah. And doesn't doesn't this 
just the, the state, state. We only have to pay for a we town. Only print, we only pay the printing of the uh, town ballot. Right. The state provides all of the other printing, but we have to pay for the programming of all of them. Okay, okay. So, and what about federal? They, I, I'm yeah. going to have a... Yeah, we've got, it's, it's everything. Everything next year. Next year. It is yeah. everything. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I think the only one we're responsible for the printing of is the local, the town. Okay. But we have to program them all. The programming was like, you know, $700 a pop, I think. Okay. And it may depend on the number of primary candidates, you mm -hmm. know, so you've got 20 or 25, you know, that could yep. make a difference. Hey, Question ahead. on line 29. Yep. Ballot for wages, $70 over? Yeah, I asked, I asked what that was, um, what that was for. Um, I don't really get a clear, for me, a clear enough answer, but some people take their salaries, some people don't. Um, but I think that she had more people there because she thought it was going to be busier because yes. of the way that, so that's, that is the reason. Um, um, I, that's all I can say is that, that, that okay, it was it's more than one. Person. It was because okay. of oh, oh, it's definitely more than one person. Yeah, oh okay. yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Um, but I think they just were trying to be proactive and to have things go easy. Um, so um, okay, we're all set there. Okay. Um, so. Um, <coughs> on page two that we have the financial administration which is 35 percent um, there will be another bill coming for the audit so that is not all that there's going to be spent on that just to let you know um, so in the case of let's say the audit where it's 57 percent okay mm -hmm. but that's because most of that's front loaded in the first quarter mm -hmm. anyway so correct. Really well, okay. correct and I guess is that it and maybe as we go through this because there's a few in here like that, mm -hmm. and if, if that's the case, if you can just highlight those to say, the, this one's at a higher percentage because it's front-loaded, and we can just move on past it. Correct. It's a lot of your insurances, yeah. um, in like the building insurances, they pay them 100%. So, yep. Um, Reval, um, that's that point. Okay, wait a second on the audit. Has it been completed? No. no okay. I said that's why it's going to be another bill. Okay. I, I didn't hear that. I was like, oh, yeah. Is that, is that annual? Yes. Okay. Yes. And when it is, can we get a copy of it? I don't know. I have to ask. Okay. A copy of what? The, the audit. audit. Isn't it usually in the town report? We usually put it up on the. Well, that's the, the general fund auditor. So he's yeah. got a name for it. But this is the complete oh, okay. financial statement. And so it usually goes right on the website. On the website. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Um, Personal administration. Um, these are um, all of the benefits um, with the full-time employees. Um, we're again, we're right where we should be. Um, can't see there, there are, I just had a question mm -hmm. on the uh, lines 56 and 57. Mm -hmm. I noticed they were at 71 and 60 percent. I, I think that that is yeah, up front. Those are yeah. Up front cost. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I don't know how often we pay them, but that's not a quarterly cost. That's that's more than. It's that. more than that. It is. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that I remember exactly. Let me see. It's definitely more than that. Oh, okay. So the seventy-one percent is a one-year paid in full, so that you paid all at once. That's what the 71% is. Um, so then um, planning and zoning, we're good there. Um, any questions on that? 71 advertisement. We're going to have enough money in that account. It's not my expertise, so I don't really know. I don't know if they'll know because you have to advertise it when you have. Yeah, but don't you reimburse for that? Yes. Yeah. By whom? The people. But the people who are the doing the petitioning. Oh, okay. Right. So, so it could show as over spent, but you'd have the revenue on the other side. Okay. 
Um, government buildings. Um, again, I don't think we have an answer exactly how sewer and water is going to be affected in this. But I'm sure we'll find out soon. Um, heat. Um, you're on the other end of the heating season now, so um, we believe that we're we're okay um, for all of our buildings. On page three, MV one eighty one two. Electricity um, isn't. We're in good shape. We are looking at. Um, Proposed down. We have proposal from EverSource to replace all of the um, lighting in all of our buildings. So we're looking at um, we're looking at that right now because it's something that you can do without having um, to pay up front. Um, EverSource pays 50%, and we pay 50%. Um, but it, it it can be applied to having your rates be the same and. They're saying it, it's a two to two and a half year um, payback. payback for us. So okay. we're really um, looking at that um, seriously at this point. Um, and that would be transfer highway fire in this building. Um, so we'll have more on that as soon as we come up with us. Um, whether or not we're going to do it all at once or do a little at a time. Is there, any, is there any other credits available? The state offer credits, or is there federal credits if we're going with the LED lights? Do you know? I don't know. All I know is what um, Eversource, uh, George, our highway guy, um, got in touch with them and brought them over to each of the buildings. So that's all we've heard is um, from Eversource with the program that they do. But I can ask the question. So that's just building. That's not the street lights. No, oh, it's, it's, it's our building. Just the it, our buildings. I mean, are the street lights part of? I mean, maybe George knows that. I are think street something. lights something that. that Did some of that already happen? No, it's yeah. something that you know. Producing electrical usage is a really uh, excellent idea. It requires resources to even mm -hmm. plan it out and think it through and, and do the right thing. So it's always been something that was the boards that I was on talked about, but. You know, and there are companies out there, there are brokers or people out there yeah. who are more than happy to come and do stuff for you. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, you know, if you can find some ways to reduce upfront costs or, <clears throat> you know, to, the, if you, if you can create a fund to put your the savings so that it just funds other, you know, uh, reductions in electrical usage by upgrading this or that. I mean, there are things that we've talked about. So, but no, as far as I know, the street lights are... There's our perfect opportunity. Do we, uh, uh, from an electricity usage pers pers perspective, do they give you a breakdown on how much, when you get your bill, mm -hmm. how much your street lights use of that bill? Was it broken out separately? I don't know. I, I, I can't answer that. Oh, okay. if you don't mind. You no, know, absolutely. Right. Street lights are a separate invoice. Okay. So perfect. Do. Yeah, and they're, they're budgeted separately, Peter. So there's somewhere. I don't know exactly where. They're not in government buildings. They're yeah, down back. I thought it was like about 30, 33,000, yeah. 34. Yes. Look at row 200. Okay. I mean, is this something that we could go out to somebody in the town who might have it in their wheelhouse to be able to say, you know, take this as a, you know, if we define the task? Well, actually, this is a budget committee point, but I mean, Kind of go out, find somebody who would, who would kind of put the legwork in, come back with a proposal, work with their resource, and you know, it's kind of like thing starts, the analysis, recommendations. That seems like a no brainer, and, and, and your energy savings, uh, the number one is the LEDs, that, that, that payback is well proven in that. Mm -hmm. So that might make sense, depending on how much it reduces it by. So I guess that's a question to the, or a suggestion to the. But if you go outside of Eversource, you're not going to be getting the financing, the financing part of it. Well, they have energy and, but, service companies that would do it, I think, but I but agree you Eversource would be the first one. Yeah, to, and, they're, and they, what they do is they hire local um, electrical people in, in our you town. You did that and stuff. building with the yeah. solar. Was that through Eversource? Or was that? No. No, but, you know, Eversource did come in and say, hey, you know, we can give you a program to 
take your fluorescent lights out, mm -hmm. right. and it's just like what Denise is saying. You know, they give you a LED replacement, or it was a, a low energy replacement, yeah. and I considered it. I didn't go with them. I did it myself. It was actually cheaper to do it myself mm -hmm. than it was to considerably cheaper to do it myself than it was to go through ever so much, even though it's a good deal if you don't want to put the money up. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like that's something that, that is a suggestion to the select board to look at? Yeah. Um, not, not to do it ourselves? Or to, to, to look, decide yeah, if there's somebody out, out there. It's not really for the budget committee to go out and find someone to look at the street lights. Right. Um, right. So, so it's simple. I mean, they're thinking of people coming in to do the buildings. Eversource, so you think you could ask them. But the people who are coming in the building are going to be local contractors, not Eversource isn't going to do it themselves. They're hiring local contractors right. to do it. Right, I understand that, but Eversource is paying 50% saving, right? So there right. must be someone who's, you can talk to with Eversource, is giving us 50% saving on buildings, that they can say, yeah, 50% savings on streetlights too, we do the same thing, or no, you got to talk to somebody else. Yeah, I'll, I'll ask that question because I don't, I don't have any, source, any answer on that. Lights, so it's just I mean, it's a good oh, question. Sure. Why, why is it just the buildings and why not? Why not the road? Yeah, the yeah. Right, I'm sure they can direct you in the right place. Yeah, exactly. I will find out. Okay. Um, Sorry, I lost track of where I scrolled down. Well, we were on, like, well, we're in the, the, we're on page three. Um, yeah, but I was going to say the um, hydrant rental at 100% of that's in full. Um, Cemeteries, they haven't spent anything yet. So. Property and liability insurance is, is in full, paid in full. Regional association, I believe that's um, maybe quarterly. Um, one year, oh, it's one year of SRPC. So there's other, other things that come out of that as well. But that's why it's a little higher because they're paying one year of that. Um, police department, the 66% on preventive health is because of new employees. I'm sorry, what Denise? I was. The 66% on pre preventive health is for some new employees that we have. Could, could you talk about the part time and the overtime? Is there um, is there anything going on that's um, do we have a full-time complement? Are we still using? Uh, we're, we have lost some full-time employees, and the part-time employees have been right, covering so the shifts. Okay. Oh, yes, we've okay. lost um, two full-timers. We have one on disability. So we were, we were pretty short on staff, three okay. still. Um, we have hired two new people. One has the academy, one does not. He actually started Monday of this week. Um, so again, shorthanded because now they're going to the academy. So we're still not up to staff. Um, but we, so that explains why the part-time um, salaries are a little on the higher side. And I see the full-time is, mm -hmm. you know, very low. Mm -hmm. so it does explain, but it, thank you. that explains, um, so we're, we're trying to get up, back up to full staff. So hopefully, is it as a workforce challenges out there? Is it hard to find? It's very hard to find because we don't, we're not one of the higher paid police departments. We're around cities, which help, which hurts us. Um, but one retired um, and then went to work in South Park. Um, and then one left and it's going to make more one with Douglas security. So. It's hard. It's hard to, um, and then to get a certified one. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we What's did get one. What's considered full time? How many policemen full time? Um, one. You mean a full complement? Full complement. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, there's five. Five. Five, right? Yeah, yeah, five. It's full time. That doesn't include the chief. I'm trying to get my daughter. Because he's a part time. So we're working on it um, to get them. In, in terms of, of, of budgeting, this is something that did come up before, is, uh, and we did make a decision to add some money to make it available 
available so we could raise that starting salary so we can make it more. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty it much topic last year. Yeah, that help? Yeah, it did help. Good. Um, and the uniforms are um, high because you have to outfit the new police officers. So yeah. that's at 55%. That might even be a little higher now because of the one that we just hired. Um, Could you, excuse me, Denise, just could I back up just one sure. bit? Being contracted services, I don't know what's included in that category. Contracted yeah. services is when, our, um, when we have like ever saw us in here and they're um, cutting trees or limbs and stuff, they have to have a police officer oh, I see. Um, guarding the... Uh, so the police officer gets whoever's doing the duty and sometimes they do it outside of our, our um, town as well, that is where the need is. Um, they get a percentage of it and the town gets a percentage of it for the use of the car and um, yeah. time. So that's pretty much what the contract is in. Any kind of work that needs to have a police officer police officer watching or, or making sure that they're safe to be in on the road. Um, but it's mostly doing cutting of the limbs and, and stuff. And I know that they also have the police officer at Wentworth Greenhouse when they have their um, farmer's market. <laughs> so, I mean, there's th and things like that. It's more of a traffic control um, issue. And it's like an on-call line item, so you put the budget item yeah. in, a number in, but you just don't know no. what it's going to be. No, right. And it usually pays for itself, right? It's oh, it does, because we get a percentage of it to offset the right. budget, and the police officer gets a percentage. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But it does have an effect on revenue uh, also, because, you know, the, the, that amount that's in contracted services, which we also call detail mm -hmm. work, so there's there's the offsetting budget. So so I'm thinking if we don't, I mean the first quarter is not a high detail month anyway. Right, it's right. The summer, it's most of the summer months. Spring, right. summer, fall. Right. But I know I know <clears throat> if if you don't bring in the detailed work that you think and you've added the rev, you put in the revenue on the revenue side, it could. could we could be well last year that happened. Yeah. But we didn't. They didn't have yeah, was, um, the amount of detail we, work yeah. that they wanted. Uh, that we budgeted for, so we didn't get the revenue because we didn't have the detail work. So, um, and and sometimes, being that we're short-handed as well, they can't take, especially outside of our town, because they have to be working here to do our our coverage. So, um, we're hoping though that we'll still be okay because we reduced it last year for this year's budget. Um, you were at your reforms so Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's because of the new um, the new hires. Um, 111 manuals and publications. I'm looking to see my notes. Um, that was that is not. We found that after I um, sent it out, um, it is not at 111 percent. It's. Um, $192 versus $442, something got put in there incorrectly. So it really, that one, $442 should only be $192. So we're not way overspent on that, okay? I think we have corrected. This is Do you have the corrected one? Oh, I'm still looking at an old one. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I printed my, the old copy again. Okay. So, all right. Um, Fire station, um, there, uh, let me see, the um, dispatching fees and answering service, that's a, a one year up front, so that's why it should be 100%. Um, Training. Um, <clears throat> I know that they have um, new firefighters on, and that they are going to they are going to um, be certified training. So it's a little high, but they usually stay within their budget. So we're not concerned about that. They just had five new people go on the department. Nice. Yeah. Um, radio repair. What do you guys show as radio repair? Because that was another thing that got radio. zero. Yeah. Okay. Because the and it's under M O M O U Dover, is that right? Well, that 
The radio equipment. equipment. 153 has okay. $4,400. Okay, so that one got fixed then. Um, that is, um, for those of you who don't know, we had to, um, we had to do with the digital um, system that Dover needed. Um, and they, I believe it's on, is it Garrison Powers? Yep. Yeah, and so that's, um, Mark got Dover to give us a three-year um, uh, three payback uh, to Dover for, um, so we didn't, we didn't have that big hit all at once. So that's what that is. You'll see that same figure for three years in a row. Um, let's see. Um, so it's so is that a licensing fee for radio? Company? It was. Do you remember what that was? Install, like a use fee, a lease fee, or yeah. something. Take the lease. Uh, it, it's actually equipment, is my understanding. And what happened was, Dover went digital, mm -hmm. and it wasn't going to affect us. And then right at the very end of their project. That they, you know, uh, scope creep. You know, they yeah. somebody had an idea. Well, let's do this other thing now, and that put us out to pasture. Yeah, our equipment was not going to be able to work. Analog. And so I, and this was it looks like a yeah, we had analog. And so I was on the phone with the chief of police and said, look, it's if this was already by January, this is our budget. We couldn't change our budget. Yeah. So he, they agreed to to um, fund us. Yes. Without any interest cost for over right. the three years, and but it, it's it's equipment that we had to that yeah, we had to get yeah, what Dover yeah because yeah. Dover is our dispatching yes so yeah thank you okay <clears throat> mutual aid is a one time payment so that's why it shows one hundred percent any other questions on fire yes yes one forty two I would like for the next meeting to find out how the on-call get the points, how they earn their points, and one quarter example. Because I'd like to make sure that they get the minimum wage. That was a big problem we had last year. And if we had an example of that, I think it would help us. And, and as a procedural matter, we should probably be deciding, as a, asking for that as a, as a That's committee. That's fine. I, I agree, I have the same, and I'd rather get it sooner than later so that we're not. I'm glad we're making the motion. So, uh, are you making a motion, motion that we request? Yep. Uh, we're requesting details on how the, the how they get their points, who gets the points, and a three-month sample, so that we can find out, make sure everybody's getting minimum, and maybe they have to change their policy with the select board and the fire department to make sure every firefighter gets minimum wage. Second. Uh, all in favor. Aye. 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 Any other questions on fire? Okay. Building inspector is right where he needs to be. Um, now, so one one second, please. Um, okay. Vehicle fuel. You would think that is that that's a pretty high. Is that 150, 159. One fifty nine? No, one eighty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on highways and streets. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're seeing. Sorry. Okay. Oh, which we are not in fire. Are you in highway now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. So just on the vehicle fuel, I would have thought that would have been something. Yeah, kind of consistent through the years. Is that because maybe the plowing for the snow oh, and stuff? Okay. Correct. Right. So, Denise, are you okay with the, the level of that uh, expenditure based on the fact that we're, you know, covered all of the winter? So you're, I'm, you're okay I'm very that? comfortable with that because, you know, the, the end of the year is not as heavy as we've had a, we had a lot of storms this year. I mean, I don't, I don't know. We may have to do some reallocations based on... Um, I see the salt to funding. Too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The salt, um, for sure. Um, but we'll have to talk to George about that to make sure that we have enough for the for the early winter of this year. But all in all, I think his, you know his budget is is um, 
where it should be. Um, it's just the, it's the salt. It's yep. The it's salt was so problematic. Yep. If, if sure. the board is willing to you know rebudget so that it covers it. Yep. <coughs> yep. I think that's pretty much what we're going to do. But and I think he has a whole. I was down there the other day. It looks like he has a whole storage area full of the salt. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean it's <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, I can say, you know, I, I think us. it's, it's no, gone no. for this time of year. I think we were lucky this year we didn't have that much ice. We must have had some. Well, we had oh, ice. We had some stuff. We had ice. That's, that's the year before last, they had all these little yeah. stones with ice. But i got to go back to a 172 building inspector. Yeah. He gets $80 an hour. How does he come up with $5,874? That's an odd amount. Charges by the minute. Well, that's his. That's his expenditure. That's yeah, no, oh, it's okay. a quarter of his. Right. If you pay by tenths, it doesn't come out. It comes out to an odd number. I'll ask her. Okay, thank you. What's your concern, Charlie? I'm just wondering why it's an odd number. If it's at eighty dollars an hour. You know, if it's a half hour or a quarter of an hour. Just a simple question, sorry, if it confuses you. I'm just confused. Okay. Any other questions on the highway? Okay. Here's the street lightning that we were talking about. Um, sanitation. Can I, I, I have a... I'm sorry, can I, I have a general question about street lighting? It, it, um, it seems like low when you consider that street lighting would be at its highest, sort of like in the, in the winter. Know, the yeah. So, I mean, it's a good thing. It, I don't know if there's been a change of rates or what, but that, that seems really maybe good. We, maybe we don't have a, an invoice, too, and I'm saying that could be. Yeah, Let sometimes me, they're off, just, just a little, so, yeah. Yeah, good point. Low, yeah. Don't, uh, get, don't get too excited. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turn it right down. Yeah. I'll, I'll down. check that, though, okay? So, what line is that? I got uh, 200. Uh, 200. All right. Um, we're at sanitation. Um, it looks like recycling hauling is costing more than expected. Is that? Well, it, it was going from um, single stream. Now, you know, so I know that we had um, some issues with that. Also, um, the, um, yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure. It's, I, also, it's I, also odd, Denise, that, I mean, I'm looking at that line, and I don't really know the rationale, but the, it, if you look at the two years ago, the budgeting for that was 6000 and then mm -hmm. last, the year before last was 5000 then. This current year's appropriation is twenty five hundred. Does anybody know why the budget committee or, and or the select board chose to reduce it? I think that um, what's happening is by uh, is line uh, one twenty two. One. two twelve. Two twelve. Two twelve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, sorry for that. Um, I did help do an analysis of the change of the uh, recycling because mm -hmm. we went from single single stream, and the idea is that. Um, by um, bailing, we will have haulers, we don't have to pay for the hauling of, of what, what we bail ourselves. So the idea was that the hauling cost would go down. Before, with single stream, we were, haul, we were paying for every haul. So that's probably why it was reduced, but maybe it was reduced too much. I don't, I don't know. Because um, the, the highway department is going to be hauling the, that's glass. the bailing, right? Oh, no, the I think the, the, the vendor, whoever buys it, Picks it up. Oh, or it's picking it up. Okay, right. that's, they are going to haul something out. Sorry? I think they stopped the highway picking it up. I think they haven't at all. So on that, glass. That's, that could be, well, they, yeah, the, the glass, that's yeah. a separate one, but, right. but the failed um, plastic and failed paper and all that is supposed to be picked up by who's buying it. But, but um, it is a new system 
for the for the town, so it's probably needs to be ironed out. But it seems like if we're at one hundred and twenty-two percent now, we ought to be looking to. Well, there's several that are high. I mean, if you look at the tipping charge for Lamprey Regional, if you look at the municipal uh, solid waste demo hauling. Mm -hmm. But there's been some really strange things going on in the last couple of years. As you know, with recycling mm -hmm. overall, with mm -hmm. China not taking it. So right. I'm sure it's affecting the bottom line dollar that you guys probably come to account for. Mm -hmm. What about the glass? There's no cost for that, right? Do we get paid for the glass, or is that um, we still that cost? We still have to pay. We still have it's to pay. about half the, the tipping fee is about half the cost of uh, MSW municipal solid waste. So it's still cheaper. It goes and it's it's crushed up and used in aggregate. Uh, right. But uh, it still it still costs to get rid of it and it still costs to haul. Mm -hmm. We were hauling it at one point because it was near one of our employees. Yeah, yeah. they were going to Wakefield, right? Yes. Is it Wakefield? I think. But now I think it's going to it's going to waste management. Okay. Um, that's the last I knew. I, I haven't plugged in on that. Mm -hmm. I have months. to find out on that. Do we think? Yeah, sometimes I just like to look at the story. Do we think that the tipping fee, so this is line 210, is up because now that there's no single stream recycling and people have to, you know, sort, that more people are just not bothering and just sticking it in municipal mm -hmm. solid waste? Could be. Is that the, yeah. is that what we think might be happening? I think the cost of recycling have just escalated because of China. They're not taking the plastic anymore. Yeah. Right, right, but but the yeah. but we're hauling the more tipping because, the, yeah. the municipal solid waste. So so the yeah, thing yeah, that just right. is bad and thrown in are more people putting yeah, but you're they putting construction in there. Putting things knows. that they might have gone into single. Because now they have to separate something yeah, they put it into a bag right. and nobody can see and throw it into the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your cardboard's got to go in the hopper now, where it used to be thrown in with the vapor. Well, the cardboard still gets recycled. No, like the sodas, the twelve packs. You know, that, that was a misleading thing. Those are actually can be recycled. Yeah, because I saw something. It's the waxy things that can't be, but yeah. we're getting beyond the budget committee's yeah. <laughs> purview. But, but yeah, that's so, so it looks like we'll, we'll need to be looking at we're this. We're looking at that in yeah. the fall yeah. to yeah. see. It's yeah. a learning curve, I think, also. Yeah. Is. Yep. This is the first year I think we've gone to. Yeah. So it's a pretty segregated. I don't know. It might change back in a couple of years. I don't think so. No. no. I don't think China's going to open back up again. Mm -hmm. It's creating environmental problems for them. Just... Alrighty, so um, the ambulance service, just to let you know, they just submitted their, their invoice to be paid and it, it gets paid once a year, so you'll be saying that the next time it's paid in full. The animal control is a little high, but I was told it's because it's trying to get the dogs registered, the ones who aren't registered, so they, they have a little higher activity this time of year um, to make sure that we have um, all the dogs registered. So that should go down or not go so high afterwards. Um, we're, we're pretty good on general assistance. Um, Denise, can you talk a little bit more about that? Is there a, what do we, is there a, um, not, not a reason, but are we are we surprised that uh, that, I'm, that welfare is oh on welfare so low. oh okay I thought we were talking about dogs no, oh no no <laughs> <laughs> I thought um, you'd gone into general yeah. I just well. think that Caroline is doing a really good job at um, finding resources that aren't costing us very much money we do I mean we do have some active cases um, but we're kind of yeah, that's that's really nice. I think she's doing it especially when you consider it's covering winter you know yeah, eating yeah yeah thing. we just um, you know, it's just, um, I think that That's she's just finding yeah. her, she's, she's just finding the organizations that can also assist that helps keep the cost of the, for the town down. That's okay. just really good. Is there any, um, is there also an upgrade in sort of like the real estate portfolio in the town? Is that, is that, any, is that? Is that true? Is that possible? Is that what you mean? Pardon? Is there less need? Is that what you're Yeah, asking? I mean, yeah. Are, are units that, properties, like the one, one over there that used to have, mm -hmm. you know, some welfare cases, and then it got, you know, renovated, renovated and, it, and it, right. now we're not seeing, or at least when I was still there, we weren't seeing welfare cases from there. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering, are there things like that happening in the town? That um, 
mostly what we're seeing is mostly the people um, with disabilities is what we're seeing now that it has the need. Um, but um, I say it's very few, and it's mm -hmm. only a, a, a couple of people who are the regular yeah. ones. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, but I just think that there's a lot more resources out there for us well, it's to great. utilize. So, so she's, she's finding them. And, and more, yeah. 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 So I hope it stays this way. Mm -hmm. um, park, and, park and Recreation, you're not going to see any activity because it hasn't started yet. That doesn't start until June. Um, but they're um, actually meeting next door and registrations are going well and they're starting to hire Good. staff. So um, we're encouraged by that. Um, library. Um, the, the library is um, it's a, a little incomplete. Do you know how that goes, Suzanne? I mean, I, I was kind of confused by... I mean, what's included? Well, they write their own... They have their own checkbook, right? I mean, yes. this is payroll. This covers the library director's position, position, and also the building, whatever they. But sometimes use. you don't get the bills until later. That's possible. I just, I'm, I'm yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beg off that one. I'm really not sure. Yeah. What we're saying is that it's a little low, but it's a little low, but, it's a little low, but it's and, yeah. You're gonna be able to. You're gonna be. Well, Emily, do you know? Because you, I'm not. Yeah. Solid on it. Sorry. Okay, so you might see a bigger jump in the next time, but that's because then we just something's caught up. Caught up with us. Yeah. So. Um, um, there's nothing on the other, and then. Nothing on the deck. So, all in all, I think we're in really good shape. Um, so the very bottom, sorry, just so the very bottom, you're at 17 percent. Very well, end. Well, just total operation budget up to right now is 17 percent. Yeah. So, so we're in good shape. Percent below. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. Can I ask some formatting questions? These are not at all substantive. Is that but I was confused by the yellow highlighting. I and know. I, I is that just a, not getting caught up with the template or something? And also the mounts and blue uh, up at the top is that mounts and blue are differences in the select board. Mounts and blue is budgets. a budget. Uh, the blue one is the budget committees versus the select boards but, recommendation. But there's one authorized budget right now. There is no. I know it was for for our purposes. So I need to talk to Caroline to make sure that those highlights okay, are not so, on yeah. your. Yeah. Yeah. The only other thing I notice, I'm not suggesting a change, I, that we change it, I'm just noticing it's that in the past, for the quarterly reviews, we've had a year ago with the percentage that was spent in the, that quarter, a year ago. And in this report, you've got the 2017 expenditures, the 2018, as well as the 2019, you know, the appropriations and expenditures. And I like that. So I'm not suggesting a change. Mm -hmm. I just know it's different, and I don't know whether other budget committee members have... Uh, any strong feelings about that. And hopefully we will see revenue next time too, right? Yeah, yeah. The revenue no wasn't problem. able to get done, and, um, but we will have it for the next time. Uh, are you saying that's new? Well, well we, getting, uh, what I'm saying is, you know, in when, when I think the board and the budget committee were working on the budgets, they were differences. Mm -hmm. But once the once the town voted on the budget, that's the budget, whether it was came Agreed. from the board, came from the budget. Yes. So it would just be clearer, I mean, at some point to not that see that. Right. It was really, I think it was for the budget committee, uh, for the board to know where we were versus what got, what got recommended. And I think it just didn't get taken off when we were going through it. Yeah. So. Was, sorry, uh, Suzanne, was your question at the end of that to say that, that now we're showing 17, 18, and 19 as opposed to 18 and 19? Is that, what is that No, what, what we have done in the past is just had one prior year, but we've had the expenditures through the, the relevant quarter. So we would see 2018 and the 2018 expenditures through March. And then we want more column now that we yeah. compare. So, I, I, so you can see where we were quarter wise. I, you, yeah, so you can see if, is the salt budget, was it about 70% last year at the end of the first quarter as well? Yeah. So, yeah. So the budget so going, committee finds that helpful. Going yeah, backwards, no, can good. she do that now by pulling it by quarter? Going backwards? It, yes. Pre previous, yes? yes. Okay. Well, because you just go back to the other Excel spreadsheet. Right. Oh, you just pull what, what last the, the, the last. used to do. Okay. I will talk. I'll talk to her.
if the budget committee if finds it, I just know want. it's a, yeah. yeah. I, I think, think it'll want. save some questions because people are going to say, well, I mean, we, a lot of our right. questions today were around, is that really just front ending? Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. answer was yes. So if you see the first quarter of 2018, you're going to see the same thing happen there, but it was really 100% when the year was all over. So we could save some time. Mm -hmm. No, you're still wanting to have three years because then your report's going to get really tiny. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm neutral on that. I, I was just raising the, the issue. Mm -hmm. So if, I, we, if we just do the prior year. Yeah, I feel like having that quarter is more helpful than the three years. Than the so three year. If I yeah. had to choose, I would mm -hmm. prefer the quarter. Because we could have it there and have it hidden. So then we can have it on these for the quarter reviews, and then for the year right. when you're doing your budgeting, yeah. you could have a three-year yeah, maybe yeah. Um, legal the sheets or something. Point. Yeah. Forward, probably okay. Forward. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a general consensus of the budget committee. Yes. Do you? One of the questions I had was, as you look, as the select board looks through the end of 2019 and then planning for 2020, do you do you see any items that weren't expected when the original 2019 budget, and while they haven't materialized yet, they might be a problem down the road? Or, 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 are there any of those items that are kind of in discussion that we should be just aware of? One of the things is stormwater is giving that of a stormwater committee that's um, required that we have now um, is probably going to have a bigger budget. Um, is it this year? I don't know if it is in there. Yeah, I don't remember seeing I don't, it. Is it part what is the stormwater item on, as long as you're talking stormwater, executive office, department, stormwater management? No money was spent this quarter on it. It's 5000 in the budget. Oh, there it is. is that what you're saying? 18. Yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot more that they're going to have to be doing. They're, they're actively working on it, but they haven't had to put any output money out. But we're looking at, so by I the end of the year, that we will be... As a member of the Stormwater Committee, <laughs> <laughs> I can say that uh, the types of things might be like signage that says, pick up your dog waste. Um, there might be flyers that go out uh, for people about being aware of reducing the potential for non-point source pollutants like dog waste or lawn fertilizer or things like that. So there's there's some, we're required to develop information programs and it's, it's sort of a graduated program under MS4 that you have to do. So that's that's what it will be. And I think over the years you have to start doing more inspections or more some sampling and those types of things. So I think that's going to grow over a graduated period. Mm -hmm. all, all these families have to do that. Mm -hmm. So most of that is going to be informational, probably more testing down the road, but not potentially a budget item coming in to say we got to do this unbelievable construction project to some. That's that's yeah. not no, part of the no, no, nothing like no big capital. Yeah. That, that, okay. That's been put forward. Yeah. yeah, but it's more yeah. testing and yeah. um, just stuff like that that you you will see it go up. I think. Uh, I wonder, years. Um, having some familiarity with it. Having been on the committee before, Chair. And, and I, I want to say that Paul Casalt did yeoman's work when I had to step away, like at a really critical time when we had to have our permitting application in. He did a great job, and I'm glad to see that you're on that uh, group. It's really important work. These are really uh, these are requirements from the EPA. Mm -hmm. They carry fines. We don't follow them. And so it's it's serious business. And I, I had something else that I was going to say, and it's like it's completely gone, but you know, oh I know what it was. I wonder if and maybe it's not necessary for the budget committee, but because it is such a big deal and there could be some unusual expenditures, I wonder if maybe maybe outside of our review, but maybe a, a kind of an informational session, and maybe even for the town, I don't know, uh, about what is happening with stormwater, what we need to do. Just, it's just yeah. a thought, not a, you know. They, uh, he, he actually came into the board meeting um, Monday oh. night um, because we were well, talking with um, Aaron Lachance. Mm -hmm. Lachance? Yes. Yeah. Um, 
about culverts and other areas of um, and storm drains and stuff. So um, if you want to watch the board meeting from last Monday night, um, yeah. there was some information about, and that's when they were talking about some expenses that we'll be incurring. But he did, I guess he's done an amazing job in getting getting stuff going and, and there's There are working. a lot of details. Yeah. And so yeah. to have that committee be on top of things is really comforting. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. So, okay. I think we're ready to move along. Done. Emily. Mm -hmm. Hello. You ready, Emily? Nice to see you. I am. Thank you. I apologize for being late. Um, I had a commitment for the job that actually pays me. So uh, <laughs> that came first. Um, so, uh, school budget. What you have um, in front of you are our Q3 numbers. <laughs> you have our Q3 numbers. Um, we have encumbered uh, all our known expenditures. Um, currently, we have a balance of $512,000 um, remaining in the budget. That is due in large part to um, changes in our special education needs. Uh, that amounted to in the three hundred and something thousand dollar range. So um, we have an overage, and that is the majority of the reason. Uh, and Emily, would yeah. that, that's, that's the reason why the budget for the next year went down, right? So it's already it's not something we it's something we've already incorporated into the into budget next year's budget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> is, it, is it the one that's titled Rawls for Budget Update 2018 and 2019? Is that what we're looking at? Um, Sorry. Yes, Thank you me. can look at either that one or the one that's as of 4 3 19. Yeah, that's what I have. Okay. Um, there are yes, two. Yes, it's just like a summary of the oh, one Yes, detail. it is. Yeah. They say the same thing, but okay, the one so you have up goes in further detail. Um, so, uh, because of our. Um, Hefty balance. We have already approved around eighty thousand um, dollars worth of spending on technology upgrades um, that we were thinking we might be in next year's budget, um, but we have the ability to do them sooner. And also some maintenance equipment and projects. Um, about forty thousand dollars of those um, encumbrances are uh, of that money has been encumbered into this budget that you see here. So there's about forty thousand left that we will um, continue to roll out through. So it's it's kind of in line by line. You can, you can, you know, it's, the encumbrances have been placed in their appropriate line item. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you can see the maintenance line is over spent and that is an example of um, a place where we have encumbered that extra money. Um, I have a complete list here of the approved um, expenditures, if anyone wants to see that. Um, I didn't bring, I just printed one, so. Could you send us a copy? Um, it, yeah, I oh, actually gosh. had to, just pulled it out of the mi minutes from the last meeting, and because of the way they upload the minutes, it's kind of hard to pull it out and just send that. Okay, could you give me a copy but tomorrow the minutes night? Are Public. The minutes are public. Yeah. yeah. Public. yeah. So, so I'll, I'll send you, you the link to the minutes. Could you give me a copy tomorrow night? I will send you a link to the minutes. Oh, read it. Ten bucks. Read it tomorrow I'm, I'm uh, here. You can take that one home. Oh, oh okay. How about that one? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, so would you like to go line by line through it? Or um, we could just go, if anyone has questions. One page by page. It's easy. Well, if you have, do you have any particular worries or concerns? We have no worries or concerns. No. Okay. No. So a few questions. Um, yeah, I mean, we have a healthy balance left over because of a change of need, mostly. Um, and are you going to be able to fund those warrant articles that say, you know, that we set up to say? Uh, yes, it's looking like we will be able to even do that. with the additional stuff that you're mm -hmm. that you talked about doing so okay. far. Yes, it's looking okay. like it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Emily, I do have just, and it's a 
so I can understand the different line items. So sure. with Marshwood, we pay them the tuition, but things like special ed and such, that's a whole other separate charge. It item. is, okay. yes. So that's, our special that's a variable. Yep. Yeah. Yes, and actually, um, it's, it's a learning process for us because um, the way we have billed out for those um, additional special ed resources has changed over the last few years so that we can get kind of better. The first year we over budgeted, not understanding kind of how they bucketed things. Um, so last year our, our numbers were much closer. We asked them to, um, instead of giving us quarterly, to give us monthly. So we're, we're this is a, a lot company more on top we, of that. The school board works with to provide these things. Um, no, the school provides them. So we have, through the SAU, we have um, a special ed director who, um, she oversees all the special ed because we are in New Hampshire district. We're required to follow New Hampshire special education rules. They are main district. So we have to have um, our SAU person oversees all the special education in Maine to ensure that mm -hmm. our students are getting the required, okay. um, their required needs met according to New Hampshire state law. So that goes all through our SAU office. Um, and the, the special ed people and the guidance counselor at Rollins for grade school works very closely with the middle school to ensure that those services get pulled in accurately. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just a question on yeah. teacher's salary. Why are we $1,900 over? I thought that was a contracted service. Um, uh, money. Top on the first page. Yeah, it'd be 1100. Oh, I'm a, yeah. 5110, first one. I have the document open. Top. I got you. So the answer to that. Let me see. I mean, it's no, it's yeah, not that no. much, but I was just curious. So that's, that's for the Rollins for its elementary school right. salaries. It yeah. is, yeah. yes. Right. Um, I don't know the reason for that. That is kind of strange. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what could be a possible I know. reason. The steps and everything's all included and everything else. I don't know the reason. So what's the, what's the issue? I'll be looking at her. Uh, so the teacher salary. Teacher salary, the first line. It's $1,900 over. And that's under contract. That's the only. Yeah. Probably a simple action. Probably. Yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> and like the contract that got passed, was that a like one year contract? It was a one year contract. Okay. Yes. And when do you start negotiations on the next one? Um, Probably now. <laughs> oh my God, please no. Um, <laughs> uh, we start right around the same time we start our budgeting, so that will probably be late September. Okay. Do you know who's on the negotiation team? Uh, I I believe it's Andrea Anderson and Tom Coons. Of course. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? I assume that the tuitions are um, over budget because we had more students than we expected. Yeah, um, yes. That is why. <laughs> And kind of, we build in some contingencies and things go up and down throughout the year. And that was specifically talked about last year. I think yeah. We built in like two or three students. Three last students year. last year, and now we have a fund. Um, we established a fund so that um, we don't have to include. So we we included three contingency tuitions this this in this year's budget. Next year, I can't remember if it was one or two, but we also established a fund so that we can use any excess um, budget 
So if, say, there's $15,000 left over in the budget, we can add that into a fund, and that can help to fund those contingencies as opposed to putting them in our operating budget. So we have that buffer, and we don't need to build it into the budget going forward. Mm -hmm. Back on page one, software. Mm -hmm. There's still ten thousand dollars. That's fifty-six fifty. Page one. You plan on spending that? Um. Well, I would say that it might be um, spent within the, in some of the mm -hmm. items we've. Added. Um, I'm not 100% sure. On there that, was a discussion of overrunning the high speed internet line from Main yes. Street yes. up. We are doing that. Is that part of the 10,000? That might be it. Probably part of it. I can't remember if we had, if that was in, built into the I think it was a sector. I think it was separate. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Was it? Yeah. 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 Just jumping through the whole budget. Hmm? Jumping through the whole budget, or going page by page. Go, go, you want to, if you want to go through, yeah, whatever page, page, go through go page, right page, page and ask questions if anybody else has. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I don't have any more. I've asked mine. Oh, that one. Just that one page. Yeah, one page. Pay, yeah, yeah, the email was another one. Yeah, there was another, yeah. another yeah. attachment that had all yeah. the details for each of the. It says ADS and the. Yeah. Wrong for the ADS budget. You're welcome. All right, um, uh, page two. Uh, What's the, uh, what section are we in uh, account-wise? Uh, 1410 co-curricular is the top of page two. Um, that would be my guess, is that, um, unless the change in our assessments means that we no longer have that spending. So I will check. very old systems in the school that we will be looking to hopefully upgrade in our capital improvement plan in the next few years. Question on maintenance. Yeah. On lawn care and ground maintenance. You took money out, but you had no money in there to take it out of. It was zero budgeted. Can you do that? 
I mean, we had the money in the maintenance line total. Yeah. So I don't think moving it into lawn care is much of an issue. No. I just was wondering. Yeah. I should have at least a dollar in it so you can move it around. That's all. No, I. That was the only question. Okay. I think as long as the line is there, it signifies purpose. I thought, really yeah, I know. I thought you had to have to have money in the line. Yeah. It's just purpose. And, and actually, it's quite the whole likely that just maintenance is sufficient in and of itself. Yeah. That's, it. That's why I figured they could put it in the other account. Okay. Page six. <coughs> Sure, for a whole lot until June. Yeah. We may, but um, we also um, have a quote that the board has not yet discussed for a cupola um, repair. So that might be something that we'll talk about. Or it will be something that we'll talk about be tomorrow night. That's um, been an ongoing. First, way too long. Way too long. So, um, yeah, we'll be discussing that tomorrow okay. night. So that may or may not be something that comes out of this year's budget as well. So. Save the cupola. Save the cupola. Save the back of the future. Like that to the I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any estimates for the fun stuff? Now. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen any estimates. Okay. Um, but I know they were requested. Yes. I so, know. but we haven't gotten any mail on them yet. Okay. I'm assuming we don't have any. So, are there any more questions on the school uh, expenditures? Not for me. No. Do we have any other business? I, I do comments. Like. Just really information. So they had the first SAU withdrawal meeting. So I don't know if it's worthwhile for me to recap this. I'm not prepared to do that anyway. But there are minutes out. They're supposed to be out on the, on the website for what we discussed. And I think they're putting out the minutes from the summer's work. Withdrawal committee too. So if you're interested in that, there's some interesting information out there. Okay. Take a look at it. Thank you, John. Can you take stop? I got the only other business I got is hi, my name's Paul Cass. I haven't met. Yeah, I was going to introduce myself <laughs> to you. So <laughs> Peter Lampisa. Joe Dash. Joe Dash. And Charlie George Paul. I just need you. I've met you. Huh? I've met you before. Yeah. I'm sure you haven't been in town for a long, a long time. <laughs> Uh, nothing else, I'll take a motion. Oh, one, one quick question. Sorry. Okay, now, if we get applicants, are we going to have a meeting before the next meeting to appoint a new person? Um, I would say, I, what does anybody have? It's a good question. When's the next meeting? The next meeting. July. July, July something, right? July. Yeah. I think July, July sometime. The next quarter. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't have the I don't see right now if it's falls on the meeting. How, how long did it take the last? How much time did it take? It was take quick. Um, yes. And, and uh, I think it would be just because we already had one after meeting. Yeah. And we were, all, we were considering putting it off even further. Let's do it for the next meeting, next scheduled meeting rather than having a. That's fine. Yep. Separate, just so we know. Yeah. So it's a good agree. Everybody agree with that? Yeah, that's fine. Approach. Okay. And I think on it, I mean, it was my sense that the two new people were approached by somebody to come in versus, like, right, Pete, you didn't just... What was advertised? Right, but Pete, did you just put your name in because you wanted to do that, or did you get strong armed? He got strong yeah. so, <laughs> my, so my, my point is we that a lot of times people volunteer for the simple reason that you ask them versus they might not otherwise. So True. we might have some other people out here that we can think of that would be great, fit into the group, and maybe just say, would you like to do this? They might say, yeah. yeah. So I'm just saying... 
in addition to the note going out, if you would personally have other people that <coughs> might be interested in you know, recruiting, talk it up. Yeah. Yes, good idea. That, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Charlie, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye.